with their special guest, Conway Twitty, Bailey and the Boys, Daniel Menendez, along with Janie Fricky, Rex Allen Jr., the Cowboys Symphony Orchestra, the Bill Walker Orchestra, and me, Sherry Payne. And now, the most awarded act in the history of country music, the entertainers on and off the record, Harold, Phil, Jimmy, and Don, the Statler Brothers. She was called the Scarlet Woman by the people who would go to church but left her in the streets with no parents of mine i never had a home but an 18 year old boy has got to eat she found me outside one sunday morning begging money from a man i didn't know she took me in and wiped away my childhood Streets, this lady rose. This bed of roses that I lay on, where I was taught to be a man. This bed of roses where I'm living is the only kind of life I understand. She was a handsome just 35 who was spoken to in town by very few she managed a lady being business like most of the town wish they could do and i learned all the things that a man should know from a woman not a brood of i suppose but she got the Statler Brothers, and welcome to a Saturday night with the Statlers. I'm Don. And I'm Jimmy. I'm Phil. And I'm scared. <laughs> You're scared. Scared of what? Well, I was back here a while ago talking to Conway Twitty. Yeah. He, he was back here. In the... He's on the show tonight, you know. Well, yeah, why else would he be staying in the hall? I, don't... <laughs> I can't imagine why, but what happened? Well, I was staying back there talking. You know, he's a man of few words. Oh, I know that. Yes, he is. He really yeah. is. And I went up and tried to talk to him, and he growled at me. <laughs> Well, now, with Conway, that's not exactly a growl. Well, it was... But... Well, I, uh, one of them. Well, it yeah, sounded like a growl to me. I mean, you know, if a bear growls at people, they usually run away from it. Yes. Yeah, but Conway gives it that... Wow. ...thing. Uh -huh. And women run up to him and buy tickets. <laughs> so then I saw Bailey and the boys back here in the hall. You've yeah. seen Kathy Bailey, have you? I've seen Kathy Bailey, yes. Yeah, right. Well, I growled at her. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I growled at Bailey. And, yeah. and the boys locked me in a broom closet. Well, I see why you're scared. You pro promise you're you scared I would. Of the dark. Are you still too scared to give me some questions? Oh, I'm not weekend? scared of that. No, we have no, we have questions. From the ladies, ladies, ladies. And the ladies bring them out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank, you. Thank you. Wow. Right. See, wow. it doesn't work for you, does it? I'm gonna have to practice that. You some con some kind way you didn't tell me about. I think. All right. Neither, they questions. didn't even want to buy a ticket either, did they? That's right. <laughs> questions tonight, and it says. What's the biggest goof you've ever made on stage, and who made it? 
Now, who do you think made it? I mean, you know, what? Jimmy, you didn't make it, did you? Never. Bill didn't make it. No, no, no. I didn't make it. I can assure you that. I promise you. Can I guess? You can. Yeah, would you please? Yeah. Was it me? I expect. Are you all still holding that thing in North Carolina against me from I, years yeah. ago? <laughs> Let's you, hear about it. You gonna answer it? Well, it probably is the biggest goo. This is a true story. Y'all have time for this. This is a long story. Y'all got yeah. time for this? Okay. We were down years ago. We were down in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is truth. And we were getting ready to play a show there at the Colise at the old Coliseum. Had 10, 12,000 people, and we were standing backstage getting ready to go on. And we had brand new, and I mean brand new, first night, white suits. Man, they were tailored, and they looked sharp, and we were ready to go on, man. And the crowd was hot. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the Static Brothers. We hit the stage, we went out, and we bowed. And when I bowed, <laughs> and I'm talking about from my waist all the way down. Ripped the whole seat out of my pants. That's the truth. So we sang the first song, and when we got through, I knew we were gonna have to stay out there another hour, hour and a half, and I didn't want to be embarrassed by going around all night like this, you know. So I told the audience what happened and turned around and showed them. And then I didn't have to back away from them the rest of the night. If anybody was uncomfortable, let it be them, right? And of so, course, and the moral uh, well, you know, of that. well, the moral of that story is, of course, don't ever wear red underwear with a white suit. That's right. You're not wearing red underwear tonight, are you? No, I'm not wearing any tonight. Okay. I don't have a, I don't have a problem. Right. Anyhow, thank you. That's and a true here, story. That's true. Here is the old name question we get. How did you get your name? Now that, that is... Well, that's it, another long story. Do y'all have time for that? <laughs> we can just stand... When, when I get through tonight, you all will know everything that I know, okay? Right. How did we get our name? Well, it was years ago... And it was back in the days when things weren't, what do you say, we didn't have a lot of money? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what we would do, we'd pull up to a hotel, and we'd one guy would go in and check in and get the key, and then he'd go around and open the back door and let the other three in, and we'd all sleep in the same room. So we got in for one price. The old boy back there going, like, that. he's done it, yeah. So we'd all get in for one price. So one night we did that, so we were going up the back steps real quiet, and the assistant manager came out and said, ha! I caught you guys, and we said, wait a minute. You didn't catch us doing nothing. The, the hotel that we were checking into, I, I want to tell you, the hotel we were checking into was the Statler Hotel. Y'all have all heard of the Statler Hotel. So we were going up the back steps, and the guy caught us, and he said, hi, I caught y'all trying to sneak in. We said, you didn't catch us doing nothing. Our daddy owns this place. <laughs> so ever since then, we've been the Statler Brothers. <laughs> Two years before that, we were the Holiday Inn Brothers. <laughs> And that's the truth. Oh, that's not, uh, that's the truth. It's almost the truth. Believe everything he tells you. Whether it's the truth or not, I promise you it's going to be fun tonight. With Conway Twitty, Bailey and the Boys, Daniel Menendez, and our own Rex Allen Jr., Janie Fricky, the Cowboy Symphony Orchestra, the Bill Walker Orchestra, and the sweet voice of Sherry Page. And we'll be back with you quicker than you can growl. See you in a minute. All right. <laughs> Sinatra was called the voice. Acuff is called the king of country music. This man is called the Sultan of Swat. No, no, that's Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth's on the show tonight? No, no, Babe Ruth is not on the show tonight, but the man with more hits than anybody is. More hits than Babe Ruth? More number one hits than anybody in the world. Our buddy, the high priest of country music, Conway Twitty. All right. it funny how time steals the feelings from a love affair and there's no place to lay the blame it ain't a case of no one cares and helplessly just watch it fade away we're both making to say Ooh. I miss the days when we were crazy When you weren't so sure of me And I had my little jealousy Bring back the 
days when we were crazy I need to feel that way again Remember when we were crazy Just by looking in your eyes Baby, ain't there anything we can do Cause I know you're missing me As much as I've been missing you I miss the days when we were crazy so sure of me and I had my little jealousy so bring back the days when we were crazy in love I need to feel that way We were more than best of friends We were crazy Conway Tweedy. Conway, I know all of your fans know that of all the things that you don't do, and one of them is you don't talk on stage. You hardly ever say anything, do you? I guess you sort of just let your music speak for you mostly, don't you? Uh, we have a little comedy sketch later we're going to do. Would you like to do it with us? It's a mime. You sure you wouldn't like to do it? <laughs> well, well, after all, he is Conway Twitty, and he's our buddy, and he don't have to talk if he don't want to. Conway Twitty, let's hear it for him. 